Hey, <laughs> what was that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is an important day, okay? Well, one, it's Christmas Eve, but also Taylor from Taylor Reads has made a tag, the Winter Essentials tag, and has tagged me. I swear, she make me feel popular. Ignore this, by the way, I'm sorry. My hair, I'm gonna answer the questions and we're gonna get started. Ew. Question one, crackling fire. Who is your favorite cold character warmed up towards the end? Juno! Juno! Don't come for his nose, Taylor. You came for his nose. In the first book, Wicked Fox, he wasn't the best character. He was kind of like cocky, kind of like all that and nonsense then in this book you see more of his character and how he is and he starts changing a bit and like he's doing that while he's also fine as hell so yeah junu from the wicked fox gumiho duology i really like him question two snowflakes what is a book that was full of unique characters where's the volume where is it where is it? Where is it? Okay, this has most of them. I'd have to say pretty much all the characters in the Haikyuu manga series and the TV show, so you can watch that. But pretty much each character has their own story and different personalities and how they've gotten into volleyball, but they all get along together despite how different they could be and i love these characters so much like you have no idea question three which fictional family would you want to be a part of does this count as a family oh. realize for um which fictional family i would also want to be a part of besides the brothers in Full Metal Alchemist would definitely have to be the family in In the Holidays. They are so wholesome. They, it's just so cute. And it's just so nice. Oh my God, like everyone's so nice to each other. They do like family traditions. Like they go to that cabin every year for Christmas and it's so cute. For Blizzard, what is a book that had you confused the whole time? Where do I even go <laughs> with this book? And the main reason why I was really confused was basically this character Nova. She has to disguise herself and go into like the renegades and pretend to be a renegade. And the thing is, these renegades have fought her when she was, like, you know, she's a villain. They fought her before. I was confused with how they have not figured out that it's the same person. She didn't change anything. I think any person would remember. And the thing is, Adrian, like, she, like, he remembers her appearance very well of nightmare which is nova's anarchist name and like how <laughs> put two and two together okay adrian is also disguising himself as somebody else how do they not know it's him how have they not figured that out yet it's so obvious <laughs> that's why i'm picking this book for a book that had you confused this whole time because it is so obvious but people are dumb so you know what you end up surprised five gift giving what is the last book that was gifted to you mm. last book that was gifted to me was the fountains of silence basically my friend she bought me sight and i already had it so she was like okay i'm taking you to barnes and noble and buy whatever book you want and I picked The Fountains of Silence, and I read it, and yeah, that's all I gotta say. 
it's not bad it's just it's just they could have cut this in half you know what i mean that's all next snowball what is the biggest book you've ever read the thing is, is that I would say 1Q84, but I'm not done with it yet, but it's 925 pages. But besides 1Q84 that I'm currently reading, I would probably have to say Children of Blood and Bone. It's about like over 600 pages. So yeah. Seven wrapping paper. What is your most beat up book? I actually don't really have any beat up books and even though i do it like the one i'm gonna pick is actually not that bad this one is not even that beat up it's you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life i never finished this book which i should <laughs> i read this book so long ago when i was going through it but now that i'm more mentally stable i don't really need it that much it just has like a little rip here it just has this i was like bored and i do have like stuff highlighted in here things i like took note of but yeah besides that i don't really have um a really like beat up book anyway so eight christmas lights what is the book you own that has many colors on the cover definitely ray bearer this is probably my most colorful book and i mean look at it it is beautiful nine ice skating what is a book that had a plot that was all over the place i think i'm gonna go with 1q84 but it's all over the place in the best way possible. Anytime I talk about this book, it's a lot. But um, there's like two character POVs and there's a lot of stuff that goes on. But there is a main plot. <laughs> but there's a bunch of other things that go on in their lives. But I really enjoy this book. So I feel weird like talking about it like it's not like a bad thing but you know just it's kind of all over the place <laughs> but i love it okay one i don't know what my hair is doing i never know but two i completely forgot to say the question i don't, I don't know but the question was i think who's your favorite character of all time and you had to choose one, which that was rude. <laughs> you telling me to choose one? Okay. Okay, Taylor. Make this so complicated for me. Thanks. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think I. I think if I have to pick one character right now in the current moment. It would have to be Zane from Children of Blood and Bone. It's Zelie's older brother, and pretty much he is a sweetheart. And he puts up with so much of her BS, and he genuinely is a great brother. He does his best to look out for the people he cares about, and he even like puts others first before himself he's a sweetheart also he's probably like the one character that has like decent common sense in here <laughs> so yeah i probably have to pick zane then the star what's a book you look forward to rereading each year i don't really reread books so i don't really have a book that i look forward to but if I have to, I actually think I do want to reread this book, even though I don't really reread books. But that feeling I got when I first read this book, I kind of want to like go back into this world now that I'm holding it. And I was like going through my annotations and I'm like, I want to come back. Are people stupid? in this book 
yes but who isn't you know what i mean okay can we talk about how i love children of blood and bone but i'm like the people in there are stupid but renegades i don't like that book but i'm like the people are stupid so it's like what like how does you're probably gonna be like how does that make any sense but it's a different kind of stupid okay i just i just want to point that out there for renegades it was that kind of stupid like hello it's right in front of your face whereas with children of blood and bone it was a stupid where they get their feelings to the best of them and they have it stuck in their head and they let their feelings make them do stupid stuff and their emotions do stupid stuff which i feel like that's how regular people are but yeah i just um wanted to say that because i'm like i said that about the renegades characters that they're stupid and i'm saying it for children of blood and bone but i love children of blood and bone <laughs> i wanted it to make sense and also i'd probably say in the holidays is a book i would probably reread again next year during the christmas time because it was such a perfect mood and i was here for it and i actually want to buy the book so i could reread it 12 is snowball fight tag five people um the only people i know on booktube she has already tagged but if you want to do this book tag go ahead and do it if i do find people to tag i'll put them in the description but yeah i really enjoyed doing this tag shout out to taylor reads for being a genius yet again but um i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye